Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Living Flavors with Sunita. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick ladies finger gravy. So this is very simple that you can make. You can also serve this as a lunchbox recipe for your kids. So come on, let's get started. First, let's prepare the masala that is required for this gravy. So to a pan, I'm adding around 2 tablespoons of gingerly oil. Try and add gingerly oil which will give a wonderful flavor for this recipe. Now I'm adding around 20 to 25 small onions along with 4 cloves of garlic. I'm going to saute this for around 2 minutes. And small onions gives a wonderful flavor again. Uh, but if you do not have small onions, you can also replace it with big onions. Now after 2 minutes, I'm adding one big tomato which I have chopped roughly. I'm going to fry this again for 2 or 3 minutes until both the onions and toma tomatoes are well cooked. Now to another pan, I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of gingerly oil. To this, I'm adding 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and a little curry leaves. And after uh, the mustard seeds splatters, I'm adding around 10 ladies finger which I have chopped into bigger pieces. I'm going to saute this until the ladies fingers are well cooked. Meanwhile, the tomatoes are also well cooked. So now it's time to add freshly grated coconut. So I'm adding around 3 tablespoons of freshly grated coconut and saute this for 2 minutes. And after 2 minutes, it's time to add all the masalas. So I'm adding 1 tablespoon of chili powder. You can add this according to your spice level and 2 tablespoons of coriander powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix this well and if you feel that the masalas are burning, you can also add 2 to 3 tablespoons of water. Now the masala is ready. Let this cool down. After it is cooled down, we will grind this into a smooth paste. Now that our lady's finger are cooked, now it's time to add the ground masalas. I'm also adding required amount of water that is needed for the gravy. So you can adjust it according to the consistency that you require. Now I'm also adding half a cup of tamarind juice to this gravy and add salt as required. Mix it well. Close it and let it cook for around 3 to 4 minutes under medium flame until uh, all the masalas get inside the lady's finger. So after 3 minutes, uh, you can see the oil separates from the gravy. You, it would get settled at the corners. So that is when you will know that the gravy is ready. So that's it. Uh, so now, now if you can see the gravy is ready. So now it's time to serve. It's time to taste. The tanginess from the tamarind juice that we have added and also the flavor from the gingerly oil. Um, and also the garlic and all the freshness from the coconut. I can feel each and every flavors in this gravy. Definitely trust me and try this recipe and share your feedback in the comment section below. I'll be very eager to read all your feedbacks. You can serve this with hot steamed rice or even with chapatis. Uh, it will go well with both these uh, combinations. Do try and if you like this video, do give a huge thumbs up and support me. It really means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do not forget to click on the subscribe button. And also click on the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. See you guys next time with another interesting recipe or another interesting video. Until then, take care. Bye.